Hey, Halifax, Brenda Kay here with the Halifax Home Selling Group and the sweet Miss Frankie, who's here every day beside me on my desk. So what has been happening in real estate in April 2023? So let's check this out. Let me see. Am I going to have technical difficulties again this month like we did last month? All right. So the, currently we have in active listings, we have 722 active listings in Halifax. So we are up over last year where we had 434 active listings. I am going to refer back to 2020, uh, April of 2020 in this video because in April 2020, that was our first well, we locked down February, March was full lockdown. April was, that was like, we were fully locked down. I, I mean, I remember that spring, we couldn't even go for a walk in the woods. And of course, I'm having technical difficulties again. So let's just try this one more time. I'm not going to start all over. So active listings, yes, yeah, 720 active listings in Halifax in April, 2023. So the unit sales, we had 417 units sell. We are down from last year of 595 unit sales. 2021, 2021, April, the largest migration we had seen coming in from Ontario, because again, lockdown with COVID, the uh, government had to literally shut our borders down. And in 2020, again, that was our first April in full lockdown. So in March, April of that year, real estate did, the, the unit sales did go down. The transactions went down. I mean, the world was in a pandemic that we had never seen the likes of before. So, and hopefully, we'll never see again. Year to date sales. So we are down our year to date sales, 1,196. 1, We're down over last year where we had 1,612. And again, that huge migration in 2021, we had 2,530 units sell. Our days on market right now are 26. And I would like to stress this, I'm going to do another video on it. So check out the other videos on the channel because what I'm hearing is people are saying, oh my God, my house didn't sell in seven days. It didn't sell in 14 days, something's wrong. No, there's not. No, there's not. Um, the average days on market are 26. Do not panic if your house doesn't sell in seven days because what we saw in 2021, 2022, that was an anomaly. An, 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 okay, I'm not even gonna try and say that word again. That was not the norm. Okay, so last year, uh, average days on market were 11. And in 2021, the average days on market were 16. So the, the month supply here, if nothing else came on the market, we would run out of inventory in less than two months. In 2022 and 2021, we had less than a month supply on the market. Again, 2020, our first full COVID lockdown uh, in April, and we had two and a half months supply on the market there. The average price, and though our average price in April was $603,765, just down slightly over last year. Does this mean the value of your house has gone down? No, I can assure you that. I do want to bring up if we look at 2020, the average sale price was $342,282, jumped up in 2021 to $466,256. So these kind of jumps, I mean, when you look at 2021 to 2022, do we want these to continue? We're gonna talk about that on the next one down. The list to sell ratio. So this is a ratio that we've always used as realtors to gauge our pricing. So from the time I started real estate, which was many years ago, it was always under 100%. 2021, the list to sell ratio, 114%. Okay, over ask. In 2022, 120% over ask. Do we want this to continue? No, we don't, because that tells us that the bidding wars are out there, okay? Now, are there times when a pricing strategy going well below market value is used? Yes, there is. Do I like that marking? Do I like that pricing strategy? No, I, I don't. Um, 
that's another video too that you can tune in to watch. The percent of list to sell ratio in April was just over 100%. So 101.6%. So let's talk about here the appreciation. And this is what I mentioned when I was talking about the average list price. So you can see in 2020, the appreciation was 4.9%. Great growth rate. Okay. We averaged for years. I bought my first home in 1983, traded a lot of real estate in the nineties, and then actually got into the trade of real estate 15 years ago. So I've always kind of had my eye on the market, always watched it. And you know, you were two to 4% per equity per year. There were years where we lost equity. Everybody remembers 2015 very well. I remember 1986, 1988 very well. So in 2021, it jumped 36.2%. 2022 jumped 30.8%. This year it's minus 1%. Do we want to see these jumps? No, we don't. And the reason we don't is because you will be priced out of the market. It doesn't matter what level you're buying at, you will be priced out of the market for the home you want at a certain point. We cannot sustain these kind of appreciation jumps and the demand have driven these appreciation. Now let's look at April, 2023. Does this mean that the value of my home has gone down 1%? No, it doesn't. It absolutely doesn't. It means that the appreciation growth was minus 1% on the homes that sold last year. So let's check out the unit sales and see where is our number one. We have 52 up here in Sackville Beaver Bank, which includes Upper Sackville, Middle Sackville, a lot of new homes being built in the McCabe Lake, beautiful homes there. Shout out to all those builders. And then our low unit sales here in Fairview. Something wrong in Fairview? Absolutely not. What was listed in Fairview? in the month of April. That plays a big role. Sambro Catch Harbor, you can see, is four units there. So let's check out the average sold price. The average sold price, the high here, Sambro Catch Harbor, 1.1 million, absolutely stunning, stunning. Oceanfront home sold there. That beat out Halifax South End at 930,000. There are places where you can still get some great deals for homes. I'm just lowered myself here over in the corner. Um, Halifax County East, 327,000. Does that mean you're gonna drive the Ecom Seacom? No, that could be Muscadabit Harbor. That is not that far out of the city. Gatesbrook, just past my place. Beautiful area to live, if I say so myself. So Eastern Passage, you look here, 476,000. Forest Hills, 465,000. Great entry points. We had 432,000 in Burnside. So there are some really nice areas in the Halifax Dartmouth area to get into the game of home ownership and start building your personal wealth. So the average days on market. So our high average days on market was actually Fall River. And I'm just moving myself a little more. Usually Halifax County East is one of our high days on market. I'm gonna pump, put myself back up there. 51, Fall River. Uh, again, does that mean something's going on in Waverly Fall River that houses aren't selling? No. All it takes is one house that, for whatever reason, sits on the market for longer than anticipated, and that will do it. And our low days on market, again, Fairview. Fairview is a really popular area. Fairview is our area right off the peninsula. So that is a, a sought after area here in Halifax, Dartmouth. So that is what was happening in April, 2023 in real estate in Halifax. If you'd like to know what's going on in your neighborhood, reach out to me, we can talk about it. Or you just wanna have a discovery call about real estate. It doesn't mean you're buying or selling, a discovery call. What do you wanna talk about? Do you have questions? Any kind of question related to real estate, I'd be happy to have a chat with you. Click the calendar link below. I'm Brenda Kay with the Halifax Home Selling Group, the sweet Miss Frankie sitting right here beside me, and I will see you next month with the May stats. Cheers.